Hi, I'm Craig Calfee and we're here at Calfee Design, my shop in La Selva Beach, California. Well, we make a lot of carbon fiber bikes and bamboo bikes and tandems and electric bikes and all kinds of crazy projects. So pretty much if it's got two wheels, we'll make it. Well, I built my first bike in 1987 and started building bikes professionally in 1989. Uh, we became known as a carbon fiber bike builder when Greg LeMond chose us to uh, build bikes for his team in the 1991 Tour de France as well as the 92 and 93 uh, tours. So uh, we've been known as a carbon fiber company for a long time and we're now delving into bamboo bikes and e-bikes. Yeah, this bike is a bike that was built in Africa. I've been doing the bamboo bikes in Africa since 2007 and this is kind of an evolution of that where we added a, a Bafang kit with a 54 volt battery pack. It's designed to be a beach bike and we'd like to offer this to uh, beach resorts and places where people might like to rent a bike like this for a few days and go out on the beach. So here's a bike that we built kind of on speculation that Bosch might like to use it for uh, display and they did display it at Sea Otter two years ago when they first rolled out their new uh, mid-drive. So this one is kind of a, a tradesman's bike. It's designed to show some marketing with Bosch's uh, woodworking tools as well as their e-bike system. So it's kind of making an e-bike to be more than just a bike, it's a tool as well. And this one had a couple of features that I have since removed. One was the saw blades that we uh, had for disc brake rotors. You may have seen those pictures a few years ago but uh, they didn't work as well so we just put regular rotors back on but it was a lot of fun to build and it uses uh, tool handles for grips and the fork blades are axe handles um, you know it's a, a woodworkers dream <laughs> so this bike is uh, what we call the car killer this is a bike that's designed to effectively replace your car it runs a, uh, bionics, mid a bionics hub motor that we built into a 20 inch fat bike wheel uh, we encased it in carbon fiber to make sure it didn't uh, have any issues because it's a fairly high torque hub motor and we load this one up and um, uh, use it for transporting a lot of cargo. The, uh, the sides here, I'll bring the boxes out to show you, but these, the boxes clip onto the side. So yeah, this is uh, the bike with the cases on it. Um, this one just came back from Burning Man, it looks like it got a little tweaked. but. Um, yeah, it can carry a lot of heavy stuff, and it's uh, it's like a truck. So. Yeah, these have optional locks. Uh, they they lock to the bike from below. You have to open the case to actually access it, and the cases are lockable. This one has the lock, and it's designed kind of as a contractor's bike. In fact, this bike was built alongside another one that was built for a solar panel installer who liked to uh, run all over the San Francisco Bay Area and he needed five batteries to uh, get all his range but he carried a ton of stuff on there and had a lot of steep hills to deal with so this one is the front the front is set up for a uh, German beer case and when you carry heavy loads on the front it's nice to have a steering damper when you're going kind of fast so that really helps keep things stable when you're coming down the hill so here's an off-road tandem this bike is a whole lot of fun and it also runs the Bionics uh, D-Series uh, hub motor and this one just gives you that extra boost you need sometimes when heading up the steep hills and it really makes it fun for bringing people out on a bike ride that aren't necessarily super strong cyclists but you can still have fun and go fast at the same time. Well, there's KelfieDesign.com, of course, and our Facebook page and our Instagram feed. So, you know, I'd love to have you check it out and look for e-bike news because uh, we're in the middle of developing a lot of new stuff there and hopefully we'll have a production e-bike ready.